Hello everybody and welcome back. We're actually inside for once. It's been a while since we've done a sales video. I've uh, been super busy with car boots and charity shops and doing all those sorts of videos, but I thought we'd take it back inside today and do a sales video because we've not done one of them in a long time. So I have my cup of tea and my C3PO cup and uh, yeah, we're gonna get started and uh, just go over a few of my sales going out today. I sent a few out yesterday um but yeah these are the ones that are going out today so i'm just gonna bring up my phone so i have all of the prices uh this room is completely messy right now oh i actually finally got a glass mannequin head uh for taking photos of hats and stuff but yeah i got so much brand new stock i need to get on with lots of clothes all brand new uh hats brand new all of this stuff so i have a contact now that sells me a lot of brand new stock uh which is fantastic so that is awesome and uh yeah it's filling my room completely we're gonna get started um first thing we did or first thing we sold uh, it's actually not the first thing we sold it was actually the last thing we sold but it's at the top of the list so we're gonna start with it and i don't know what's going on here uh this nice pair of shoes these came from decathlon from the reduced section uh so if you go into decathlon they will have usually a table there at the front uh which have shoes on so what happens in um, normal shoe shops is you try on the shoes on the rack and then they'll actually bring you a fresh pair in a box when you buy it in decathlon they don't do none of that nonsense you literally try on the one from the shelf if you like it you pay for it and leave so a lot of the shoes just get a little bit scuffed on the base I say a little bit scuffed. These are basically brand new, like unused. Uh, so someone would have tried these on a couple of times or whatever, and then they've just reduced them and put them on the reduced table after a week or whatever. And I've gone along and I think I paid, yeah, £10. So I paid £10 for this, and uh, there was another pair as well that I got in a different size, and these are sold for uh, £25 plus postage. So that's always nice. Um, you can't just, you know, get those deals all the time. But if you go in there, there will be usually a table with a few bits on that you can grab uh, at some point. So that's nice. Um, I think I went in there to get something for my bike, a helmet maybe, if it, it was, if it was that day. So, yeah, it's not been up for long and it's sold already. So Next up was this Nanco, Namco Museum remix game on the Wii. Didn't sell for much, just £5 plus postage, uh, but it's a nice feedback uh, when they arrive, hopefully, from the uh, the buyer. Next up, we got this brand new Philips Hue uh, light dimmer. Uh, a little bit of a rip here in the cardboard, but other than that, it is brand spanking new, still sealed. And that has gone for £20 plus postage, so that's really nice. Uh, a pair of brand new boxing gloves. So these are... 14 ounce boxing gloves and they're for large size hands. I don't know the definition of a large size hand. There is like some sort of boxing glove chart that you can use uh, to work that one out, but there we go. Uh, next up we sold this Bouclem. I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> French, not my uh, forte, even though I did do it in school for many years, but uh, saying that I got an F in my French exam. So there we go. Uh, £13.50 on this, and this again came from my source, uh, where I get lots of brand new stock, so yeah, £13.50, super hold styler, um, and yeah, we have two more of these which I bundled into a pair, I believe, uh, so yeah, £13.50 plus postage on that, not too shabby. Next up, again, another brand new item from my source, uh, I got a massive load of uh, brand new Playmobil um, from there. And uh, this was just one of the ones that was worth separating on its own. Uh, and this one went for £6 plus uh, postage. So yeah, this is a purple unicorn. Yeah, purple unicorn. Next up, we have a brand new Revel kit. I was actually going to keep this for myself, but it has no, uh, hasn't got the glue or the, uh, the painting. So it's just the actual kit itself, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, I paid £2 for this. And like I said, I was going to do it myself, but... When I worked out it had none of the stuff in it to actually build it with, I listed it online. I think I listed it for six and I took a five pound offer uh, just to get it back out of the door because 
if I can't use it, then what's the point? <laughs> Next up, we have sold a brand new, uh, I think this is a Blu-ray. It could be a DVD. No, it's a Blu-ray. This is a brand new Steel Tin Day of the Dead uh, Blu-ray. Again, came from my uh, source of brand new stock. As you can see, it's still sealed in the cellophane. And I took an offer on this for £53 and uh, posted. I had it up for 65 I believe. Um, yeah, so there wasn't much interest in it, to be honest. So when I got an offer, I think the first offer was like £40 or something. And I managed to get him up to 53 which I was quite happy with. Uh, so yeah, £53 on that one. Um, so happy to see that one go out. Uh, the next one actually is one right at the bottom, so we'll do that one last. Uh, we'll skip that one until the end. Next up we have this brand new and sealed Sonic Free Riders. Xbox 360 Connect, as you can see, again, still sealed. Didn't get too much for this, £13. I think, again, I had it up for £15. Um, at one point, these were going for a little bit more, uh, but yeah. £13. Um, I either reduced it or took an offer. I can't remember exactly. Uh, but there we go. Next up, we have a pair of Warsteiner half pint glasses. So again, from the uh, glass palette that I got a while back, if you've seen it. Uh, and we got £18.69 on these. £18.69. Uh, pretty happy with that. £3.50 posted. So that'll be fun to package and make sure it gets there in one piece. Um, next up we have a four set of Pyrex. I listed these as cereal bowls. I'm not 100% certain these are cereal bowls, but that's how I listed them. Uh, Pyrex cereal bowls, and they went for 18, had them up for 19.99, took an offer, 18 pounds. I paid a whopping one pound for these, for the four. One pound for four, can you believe it? Um, yeah, one pound for four, sold for 18. Very happy with those ones. I was actually with my mum when I picked these up and she goes, oh, people actually buy that. Will anyone actually buy that? I said, yes, they will. And they have, so I'm happy. <laughs> Next up, we have sold Sega Superstar Tennis. Look at that. Don't just love a bit of Sonic? Not tennis as much, but you know, Sonic, pretty good. Uh, six pound on that one, so not mega bucks, but uh, happy for another one to go. I've actually, like I said, I don't know whether I said this in the video or not, but I've delisted like nearly 300 items from my store, uh, which I'm going to be selling off at car boot sales over the season of uh, sunny weather. Um, unfortunately, the three attempts I've made to go so far have all been rained off, so yeah. I would do the Sunday car boot, which is nice and undercover, but that's the one that I like to source at. So, yeah, I have uh, Thursday and Saturday attempts at doing car boots. So if it rains, can't do it, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, next up, we sold two of these brand new Philip nose trimmers. And these went to the same person, which confuses me a little bit. They do realise that you can put it at both nostrils, right? You don't need two of these to service one nose, but there we go, they paid for two. Um, I'm not complaining because they paid £70 for both of these, uh, plus postage, so happy for these ones to go out. And since these have sold, I've actually got three more in stock. So yes, picked up another three from my contact, so I'm very happy with that. Next up, we have Winnie the Pooh. This is a uh, cake tin by Wilton Industries. And this is, um, does it have a date on this one? I don't think this one has a date. Uh, it's quite an old one though, I think. Not as old as some of them. I think this is probably like an 80s one, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is aluminium, I believe. Uh, I don't think it's stainless steel. I think it's aluminium, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I would have to check the listing because I'm pretty sure I put it in there. So... Yeah, even though cake tins are called cake tin, I don't think they're actually made from tin, but I could be wrong. This might be tin. I'm not sure. Correct me in the comments because you guys always know best. Um, well, actually, that's not true. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, uh, but someone will know. Anyway, moving on, we have sold a 500 gigabyte Xbox 360 
uh, hard drive. This one went for £35 and it actually sold to the same person that bought this Xbox bundle, which went for £89 plus postage. So this is an Xbox E console with no hard drive. They bought the hard drive separate, so now they have a hard drive. Uh, one controller, all the cables, and three pretty much trash games. Metro, Assassin, what's that? Assault Horizon and Assassin's Creed 2. So, yeah, nice little bundle there for them. They ended up paying £125, which is pretty crazy because Xbox consoles were not worth anywhere near that about a month ago so i don't know what's going on with the price of xbox but i have been selling them for crazy crazy prices they seem to be going up and up and up and i don't really know why but it seems to be the case so i'm gonna ride that wave for as long as it's possible to anyway next up we've actually sold two of these support her mars uh female world cup or women's world cup england uh pin badges and they have sold for two pound fifty past posted so you know not masses uh second to last we have sold two uh anime i always get confused with these books because they're round the other way uh ma is that how you pronounce this m-a-r uh episode two and three uh, or book two and three volume two and three that was the word i was looking for uh, and they have paid three pound fifty four for that so literally got them for free pretty much <laughs> Uh, yeah, not much in those ones. Um, I bought a big bundle of uh, anime from the car boots before the last lockdown, and uh, that was some that came in that bundle. Um, so, yeah. Last but not least, the best item of today's short video. Well, not that short, but short for me. Is uh, this puzzle. I have to find it on my, on my app here. Hang on. Let's have a look here. There it is. Right there. You see that? £105. Yep. In the video where I picked it up, I was told by a viewer, you're crazy. You'll never get £100 for that puzzle. I had it up for 120 and uh, had a bit of back and forth with a buyer. And they agreed to pay 105 plus postage. And it's off to the United States via global shipping program. So yes, £105 on this 6,000 piece puzzle. I could have got a lot more if it was a different brand. So this is a Junior Nathan's puzzle, I believe. Um, which is not like the greatest puzzle brand, I think. Um, but yeah, I know people... That have had a 6,000 or 5,000 piece puzzle sell for like £200. Now I'm not saying that all 6,000 piece puzzles are going to go for this price. But this one was a nice fantasy image. So I knew for a fact I was getting over £100 for this. And I did. And fairly quickly actually. I believe I listed it and it sold the next day. Uh, so yeah I probably could have held out for the 120 But why? Why would I? I paid £10 for it and I got back £105. Uh, why would I hold out for £15? It's, you know, you never know when the next buy is going to come along, so you might as well snap it up while you can, right? Um, so, yeah, very happy to see this one go out. It is very heavy. They paid £6 postage for me to get it to GSP, which I pretty much can through Hermes because this is not 5 kilos. Actually, it might be 5 kilos. It might well be 5 kilos. I didn't even bother weighing it this is a five kilo okay no i'm over exaggerating it's two point two yeah about 2.8 kilos so just under three kilos so yeah i'll be able to get it to uh hermes very easy uh, sorry i'll be able to get it to gsp very easy for the six pound they paid and then i don't know how much they paid without checking for the uh overseas leg of the journey but yeah it's all like rebagged and all that stuff in there um anyway that is my sales for today i now have a hefty job of packing these up getting labels done because i have until 10 p.m to ship these um because i want them out by today because tomorrow i am busy so yeah thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please do leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys all in the next video which will probably be sunday car boot thanks for watching
Goodbye.